Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Diesel here making a video uh, for the first time in a few years. I uh, wanted to talk to you about the uh, My Touch 4G uh, that I rooted. Uh, just kidding, I have an American accent. Um, what I wanted to show you in this video is um, I recently rooted my, my Touch and um, um, kind of liked it. Um, uh, since then, I put the uh, Cyanogen Mod uh, Gingerbread update. Which, if you noticed, when the screen dims out, it turns off like a TV. It's probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen a phone do. Yeah, I know. Little things make me happy like that. Um, the phone is sweet. You can, you know, when you open it, you can slide it out like that. Like how the Nexus did, which I missed it because the My Touch didn't. The My Touch stock HTC Sense ROM didn't do it. I was also able to do what I loved, which is be able to click the home key twice just to get into the menu. Um, it's beautiful as far as all the options that Cyanogen gives you to be able to do on your phone. Um, there's a lot of ways to customize this. Um, and I, I will admit I've been very happy with what he's done with this. It, it's worked beautiful on this phone. Um, my favorite thing I want to talk about on this ROM as opposed to the HTC Sense is, um, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but my battery has over probably 75 percent juice and i took it off the charger 16 hours ago so i am loving the battery life i know people always complain saying how iphones have a better battery and whatnot and this one just takes the par it's beautiful i love what they've done with gingerbread um as with all roms <clears throat> there is a few different um there's a few different little tiny bugs nothing major um <clears throat> My personal preference, too, really was on the camera. I'm a bigger fan of the, the way the HTC uh, Sense camera worked as opposed to the Nexus ROM, whatever you... <clears throat> well, this is kind of like a Nexus S ROM. Um, I don't know what you call that. I, I guess you could say it's a gingerbread stock, I guess. Um, that's the only downside. I, I love that camera. Um, if there's a way I could... If anybody, everybody knows a way where I can install that camera as opposed to this one, I'd really appreciate it. But if not, this camera actually still works great. Um, they were able to integrate the flash option in here, which I was surprised because <clears throat> I know the Nexus S didn't have flash. So being able to have flash is kind of neat. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about uh, <clears throat> with this is, um, you know, as uh, far as uh, tethering goes and internet goes, it's it's not as bad as it before, you know. Um, I know the original HTC ROM uh, for the for, for the MyTouch. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is kind of under the weather. Uh, the original HTC MyTouch ROM um, was a little bit boring. One, one of my <clears throat> one of my worst things I hated about it was how poor the battery life was. Um, so that's one of the greatest things I've had so far since I've um, gotten this ROM. Uh, I gotta really give it up to Cyanogen Mod. Um, I, don't, I don't know what else he could do to make this better. Um, <clears throat> uh, this time too, with the release of the RC1, you can see that there is Cyanogen Mod settings. If you get the RC0, it'll just be like a, it's, it's like a fixed uh, ROM that you you would be writing to the phone. And with this one, you have a lot more option, options for applications and things things like that. You'll be able to customize your home screen and everything and how it looks. Basically, I <clears throat> just wanted to show it to you because I'm really proud of it. I didn't see anybody else post anything about the RC1 or use it on any other phone. I don't know. This is when I, this is what ROM Manager told me that I could download from my phone. So I decided to take the chance. I risked it. I did it. And I'm <clears throat> very glad I did it. Um, if you want to get this, again, just go to ROM Manager. And uh, you can just go to Download ROMs. And when you click on Signage, you'll see it right there. Um, now, ROM Manager is a program that I think you pay like five bucks for, but it's totally worth every penny. I've had it since I owned my Nexus one before this phone, and it's just been very helpful. It's, it's something that you must have just to root your phone. And uh, that's about it, guys. Um, if you write me a message about this, I might not get back to it right away, but feel free to ask questions if you have any. Thanks. Good night.